As you enter a new chapter in your life, you certainly have fears, and you may have some uncertainty. You may have goals that seem out of reach. Now, I want to tell you the story of two men who are going mountain climbing. One man could only look forward. Wind chill in his face, the end nowhere in sight, days of climbing, becoming tired, frustrated, and defeated. The top of the mountain, the summit, not getting any closer. His friend, sensing decreasing morale, stopped him and said, what's wrong? He said the end was miles away and they weren't getting any closer. He said they weren't going to make it. He said they'd die up there. His partner told him he was so preoccupied with the goal, he never took the time to look back and see how far they'd come. For the first time in days, the frustrated climber looked back and saw the miles of rough terrain behind him. He could hardly see the ground. He looked around and saw sights at an altitude that only a handful of people will ever see. He was motivated. He knew that if he had come that far, the rest of the journey would be easy. Of course they made it. Never forget to look back and see how far you have come. In the last 12 years, nay, in your life, you've learned and accomplished everything you need to reach your goals. High school is something you complete. Life is something that you experience. Don't worry about your grade or the results or success. Success is defined in so many ways and you'll find it and people will no longer be grading you. You'll come home with your own internal sense of decency, which I imagine, after going through the comp here, is quite strong. Love what you do, strive to be good at it. Competency, it's rare in this day and age. Be the best at what you want. Now, as I alluded to earlier, time will fly by at breakneck nosebleed speeds now. Now, I want to tell you about some of the things that have happened to me in my life between my age and your age. Now, in every way, I'm an average person, so these are things that you can expect, things that you can look forward to. Now, I apologize for deviating from the warm and fuzzy on a few of these. You asked me to be here, and I want to be honest with you. Plus, I'm not going to lie to you, this is a huge rush to stand in front of all of you and talk about myself. So. Things you can look forward to. I moved into an apartment with a girlfriend. I moved into a house with a girlfriend. I drank to the point of throwing up for the first time. I owned 10 cars. At least two of them had a more expensive stereo than the car was worth. I played truth or dare with people I just met. I saw someone I love get really sick. I saw someone I love die. I attended two funerals in the same summer. I spoke at a funeral. Any speaking event since then has actually been quite easy. I've been fired. I thought my broadcast career would be over. I got hired again. I got engaged to a girlfriend. I called off the wedding. Moved in with another girlfriend. Got engaged to that girlfriend. Got married in a giant mall overlooking a dolphin tank. Sure did, didn't we? For a better photo op, we got married again two weeks later on a beach in Mexico. I felt my baby kick. I was scared that my son wouldn't make it the night he was born. I realized how strong my wife is. I realized how weak I could be. I realized how strong I could be. I held my son for the first time. I parasailed. Since I graduated, I gained 60 pounds. I lost 30 of it. I inherited a house. I sold the house. I moved away from Swift Current. I moved back, read the paper this morning, and saw what houses are selling for and thought, damn, I wish I hadn't sold that house. <laughs> I had a daughter delivered by the same doctor who delivered me. I had a child look at me and smile and say, dad, dad. I had a child say, daddy, I love you. I had a child say, daddy, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I've seen unspeakable horrors on the six o'clock news and on the internet. I've seen Dora the Explorer and SpongeBob SquarePants with my kids. I've thought about ending my life. Haven't thought about it since. I've been to a wedding where I just had a feeling the couple wouldn't last. I was at a wedding where I knew they would. I partied in an $11 million house. I walked my son to his first day of school. I've learned that hard work pays off. I've learned that arrogance can kill a career. I went to Hawaii. I went to a luau. I went to Puerto Vallarta twice. I, sat, I swam in an ocean, water up to here. Swimming in an ocean, it's an exhilarating experience. I looked at the guy next to me, realized he was peeing. <laughs> I've traveled to New York City. I've been on the Maury Povich show. I drove in a big city for the first time. I realized I belong in Swift Current. Realized many times that my wife deserves better. 
I spend every day hoping she doesn't realize that. I've made new friends. I've lost touch with old ones. I became management at work and sadly lost more friends. The point is, through all this and everything I just told you, is you'll win, you'll lose, you'll fall down, you'll break something, you'll rupture something, but every failure I've ever endured was freeing in its own way, and it's just as fun reminiscing about the bad times as it is the good in retrospect. You'll experience victories, you'll experience losses. The important thing is to never be too proud of yourself and never beat yourself up either. Any problem you face is an opportunity in disguise. You're all good people. Just remember, it's your actions that will define you.